how to make a dynamic door block in AutoCAD that trim walls automatically? To follow along with the video, please go ahead and download this block library from the video description. Here you'll find these three different doors which are just single lines or polylines that we're going to use to create our dynamic door block. So simply select this door and type in block and press enter. Type in your name, dynamic door, and then select the base point for your new block. Now, as you can see here on the quick property palette, this is now a normal block. So double click on it to access the block editor. And here I'm just pasting these other two door blocks by using control V. You didn't see it, but I used control C to copy these two other blocks. So what you're going to do here is select this door and place it exactly right here. This would be the main base point for this dynamic door block. So I'll use the move command by typing the shortcut M and press enter and following by P to select the previous object which was the door. Now go ahead and move it and a specific distance in this case I'll move it 5 feet to the right. I'll change the color of this block to yellow just to differentiate it from the other ones and then move this other door which is the shut door or closed door and to the base point and then move it to the left five feet also. I'll change the color to green in this example and this would be just to make your life easier. Next what you're going to do is add a visibility parameter. So if you don't see your block authoring palette I'll close it just to show you how you can reopen it. Simply click on your ribbon authoring palettes and it's showing right there. So what you are going to do next, like I mentioned, click the visibility parameter and place it somewhere around here. Once you placed the visibility parameter on your screen, you'll have the following option available, visibility states. So click on it and you will see this dialog box. Click rename to rename this existing view and this is going to be the existing door which is a 45 degree door. Then we're going to create a new visibility state for the new door which is the 90 degrees door. Let's create one more visibility for the shut door. Click OK and then click OK. Now you can see here at the ribbon that we have three different visibility states. So go ahead and select the existing visibility state. And in this state, you're going to use the make invisible selecting your other two doors. Let's go change to new visibility now and let's go ahead and select these other two doors but the visibility parameter and use again the make invisible command. Now let's change to the other state which is the shut door and select this time the new door and the existing door. Again choose the make invisible for this state 
and finally select the shut door and using the move command move it 5 feet to the right. I'll change to new visibility this time and move it again this other new door 5 feet to the left. So let's check the existing door looks correct. Next we're going to add another parameter in this case the linear parameter. So click the base point and then click this other point. As you can see you created a linear parameter that is showing an exclamation point. Don't worry about the exclamation point now. Simply, se simply select the parameter and type PR and press enter. Here you are going to change the number of grips to 1 so you don't confuse yourself in the future. Now let's take care of the exclamation mark. This is basically telling you that this parameter needs an action. So let's add the stretch icon. Click on it, select your parameter and then select the point associated to it. Now select the stretch area and finally select the objects to be stretched. Now press enter and you just applied a stretch parameter to your existing door. Now let's go to the parameters options and let's create one more linear parameter this time for the door hinge. Next we'll add the stretch action to this parameter. So click on stretch, click the parameter and then the point associated. I'll click here and now select the area to be stretched. Click here and click this other point. Now select the objects to be stretched. I'll select this hinge and this other one. Then select the stretch point and the parameter. Finally press enter. Now go ahead and select your parameter and in the property palette change the number of grips to 1 as we previously did it. So we added many parameters and actions to this dynamic door block. So a good practice is to test your AutoCAD block every time you add a parameter in action. So if you find an error, you will easily know how to fix it. So click test block and as you can see here, if I change to new, you have your 90 degree doors. If I change to shut, you have a closed door. Let's test the stretch option. Oops. As you can see, we found an error here. And the hinge is not associated with the door. So let's close the test block and let's fix this issue. So first let's fix the width of this door. In reality the doors comes in standard sizes. So in order to achieve this in AutoCAD go to your properties and what are you gonna change selecting the parameter or linear parameter of course is the distance type to list and then click here to start adding the following distances. These are just standard sizes for real doors. So click OK. 
and as you can see here on the previews now you set it up so this door can stretch certain distances now let's do the same with the other linear parameter select it and change the distance type in this case change the distance minimum to let's say 4 inches because that would be mostly a wall size for the maximum distance feel free to choose your numbers but I'll choose 1 foot 2 for this specific example now let's go ahead and fix the stretch action for this door so go ahead and use the stretch icon click on it stretch now select your parameter the associated point and then select the area to be stretched now the objects will be this and press enter now select the stretch action and we need to specify that this stretch is a 45 degree angle so click in the angle of set and change it to 45 because that's the direction of stretch for this existing door so let's go ahead and test this block so stretch as you can see the door is kind of working but not totally a hundred percent we can see that the arc is not stretching at the same time it's not stretching with the door so this other hinge is working correctly but not this other stretch action let's go ahead and close this test block editor and to fix this use the scale action so select it and choose your parameter in this case would be this linear parameter click on it select the object would be the arc and press enter as you can see an scale action was added so test this block and now you can see that your existing AutoCAD door it's working correctly so now if you change to your new door which is the one at 90 degree angle you won't see the stretch action so close the test block editor and change the visibility for the new door now click visibility mode and then select the parameters or linear parameters and what you need to do is use the make in, use the make visible so it can show also in this new door state so now that you have your linear parameters also showing on the new door state let's go ahead and add a stretch action to this new door so click on it select this parameter click on it and the and the associate point select the area to be stretched select the object to be stretched and press enter next select the select the scale action right click on it and choose modify selection so make sure add is showing on the command line and select the arc for the new door press enter then so now to avoid confusions go ahead and click the 
click on the ribbon visibility mode to turn off all of the other objects. Now I regenerate just to refresh my door block and select and and now select the following action right click on it and choose modify selection set I specify the area to be stretched and finally select this hinge object for the new door now press enter and all of the actions for this new door are now ready. We got the hinge, we got the arc and the door. So the only thing that we're missing for this new door is the hinge width. So select the so select this stretch action, right click on it and choose modify selection. Now select the area to be stretched and finally select the objects. This one, this other one and finally this parameter. Press enter and all of the actions for this new door are done. So go ahead and test the block, change the visibility to new and as you can see the new door is quite not working correctly. We can see that the arc and the hinge of the door are working nicely but not the top of the door. We can see that the hinge is working correctly too. So let's close this and let's fix it. So if you hover and click on any of the actions you can see which are associated to which ones. So click this stretch icon, go to properties and what you need to do to fix this is change the angle of set. Since this is a 90 degree door we want to change the angle of set to 90 degree of course. So go ahead and change it to 90. Now let's test this block. Change to new. And as you can see the door or new door is working nicely this time. The hinge is also working correctly. The new and existing door are working correctly this time. So the only thing missing is the shut door. So let's close this and now go ahead and change the visibility state to shut door. Now go ahead and click visibility mode and select the parameters and actions and make visible. Click on it. Now you can change the visibility mode back to see things better, click this action and choose modify. Click the area to be stretched like so and finally select the objects and press enter. Now select this other stretch icon and again modify selection set. Click the area to be stretched and finally select the objects to be stretched. Now press enter 
and let's go ahead and test this dynamic door again so click this the existing door is working correctly the new door also is working nicely let's change to the shut door and oops the hinge is not associated with the door so let's fix this close the test block editor and select this stretch icon and change the modify selection set choose the area to be stretched and make sure add is showing there and select the door finally press enter as you can see we just finished setting the visibility mode for this dynamic door in the next video we'll finish this up and this is how you save time in AutoCAD remember that you can save somebody's time too by sharing this video I'll see you here next week